You guys, it's really hard to talk about stuff that feels even vaguely controversial. Like, I just want to clam up and, like, not. I woke up this morning to find that my bank account was in the, the negative. See, see, I got my laundry picked up yesterday, and it was supposed to be delivered this morning. And they were like, your card was declined. So a little panic. And then I checked the bill, and they had charged me to clean 25 comforters. Now, I'm no hotel. I only have one. It's meant to be a little, a little rambly, because it's been, it's been a, a bit of a... a <laughs> A journey for me to come to this point of accepting that school isn't for me and just being okay with that. So I could take this back to high school. Um, I did online school for a bit and because I had a lot of anxiety about school in general and I guess performance and I don't know I just I didn't want to go to school because it freaked me the heck out. But I went to pre-college at Pratt Institute in Brooklyn when I was 17, I believe. Um, and it was like the best experience because here I was coming from having very little social outlet to spending a month in Brooklyn in the summer with all these other high schoolers who were just having fun and being artsy and silly. And it was the best. And so my heart was set on going to Pratt for school because I didn't know anything else and it seemed like magic. Um, so that's what I did. And it was not easy to do. It was not easy to convince my parents that it was worth it. So I did a lot of figure modeling for like a year, mostly like the summer before school started so, so that I could pay for at least one semester's tuition. And I did that successfully th thanks to a lot of a very helpful uh, photographer in the area who <laughs> agreed to basically be my chaperone because my parents were not into letting me do it do that. Um, anyway, so I made a ton of money that summer and I was like, hey parents, I know you don't support me, but look at me, I'm gonna go drop like 15 grand on school right now that I made myself, so have at it. Um, and so I went to school for a year and a half. Um, the first year was foundation year and I learned so much and I made so many good friends that I am still friends with today and I'm very happy for that. Uh, the second year I went into my major, which was 3D animation, and really not the right major for me. There were some parts of it I liked. Um, I will, I really loved the 3D modeling aspect of it, like creating environments, so I'll put in some photos of my favorite project that I did here. <laughs> um, it's like a Cyclops girl bedroom. I don't know, I thought it was cute. I remember one person in the class is like, why is her window open? It, was she kidnapped? Um, no, it, she just wanted a gentle breeze. I left school for a million different reasons, but it all boiled down to just anxiety. And um, so I basically fucked up and and dropped out the middle, like the, near the beginning of the my fourth semester. So I really only finished like a year and a half of school. And so my parents were like, you wasted this money and we, we, we trusted you, blah, blah, blah. We're not going to pay for another semester. You can't go back. I was devastated. So I basically moved out of the dorms when I, when I was forced to because, you know, I wasn't in class anymore and found an apartment and I got a job at a vegan deli where I still work today. Three years later, I've gone through trying to go back to school like a uh, couple times. I almost went to FIT, um, but I just realized how much I hate Manhattan. Then I almost went back to Pratt just this past fall, but same same deal. I just, I, I freaked out. So completely honest, like I'm just not set out for that school environment. And it's not something that I feel like potentially risking thousands of dollars starting and then not being able to complete. And I got really depressed about that for a while. I. Like, especially when my friends were graduating last year, it was really hard for me because I'm like, I, that could be me if I had it, if I just followed through, if I just worked hard and gotten over my stupid, like, nervousness and fear, that could be me. I could have a degree. And, like, I thought I'd just be so happy and I thought about, like, how I was basically just making minimum wage and making sandwiches all day and how terrible that was. But now I've come to this place where I realized that the fact that I didn't spend all that money and 
that I've been consistently like working on my art has put me in a better place than I think I would have been in otherwise. And um, I've made so many friends at my job and I'm really happy with all the connections there. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't have any of those relationships if I hadn't dropped out of school. So, and so it's just recently that I realized that how much freedom I have now that I don't have the burden of having to go to school or having to pay for school specifically. I had this time to figure out over a slow period of time where there was no pressure of classes or, or money or teachers to just figure out what it is that I like to do and get semi good at it and just put my free time that's not at work into it. And my work is very low stress, so I don't have to like come home and be too tired. Like I can, I can balance it pretty well. Um, so it's a really good spot to be in and yeah, I feel pretty good about it. So if after hearing this personal ranty story, you relate it all and you're like, oh, okay, maybe school isn't for me, then I'm, gl I'm glad you're listening. But um, I do think school can be good for some people, um, specifically like, I guess you just have to really be honest with yourself and what you want. If what you want is to like just start your own business or like sell your art, like illustrations, like prints, or like do portraits or like design stuff for clothes or anything like that, I don't think you need school. You don't need a formal schooling. Maybe, maybe take some classes and like certain skills that you feel like you need to brush up on. But if you want something like working for a big company and having a really good salary, then you know a formal education might be the route. Like one of my good friends, she's an illustrator and um, she works for like a giant pharmaceutical company in the Empire State Building and makes pretty good money and she's really happy doing it. So school can be really good for some people like her. And but then I, on the other end, I have another friend who also is an illustrator and she has a job, but it's like incredibly stressful and she kind of just wishes they would fire her. And uh, she's actually like, hey, Andrea, when is, do you think the deli is going to be hiring? Because I'd love to just work there. Um, she's the friend that we're going to start doing tattooing together for, for context. And then I have another friend who has multiple degrees and is planning to go to like NYU in the fall, but like they can't hold down a job at all. There are many different ways that you can go about stuff and going to school doesn't automatically mean that you're going to be successful. It has a lot to do with your work ethic and like the work ethic of going to school isn't necessarily the same as having a job. Um, like obviously I could barely make it to class and yet I've held down a job for three years. So there are like different things definitely. So yeah, oh gosh, I wonder if you can hear these earrings like jingling. I feel like a reindeer or something. I hope I, I got across kind of my art school dropout story a little bit and I hope this gave you something. <laughs> um, really I just, I mean Pratt is a great school if you're considering going there. Um, I know it's changed a little bit in its uh, curriculum since I went a couple years ago but you know it's a really nice campus and if you're interested in going there I'd say definitely don't like listen to me and be like ah Pratt. Like, no, it's a great place and I'm really glad that I went there for as long as I did just because of the relationships and you really do learn a lot like foundation year, like you get a lot of hours in with like figure drawing and and learning different software and all the basic skills that basically anyone should have if they're looking to be creative in a creative field. Um, so in that regard, it's totally worth it. Just go to Pratt for a year if you can afford it. <laughs> Um, in all seriousness, uh, there's nothing, there's nothing shameful or wrong about going to like a community college. And I had a lot of shame about that. Like I just did not want to listen to my parents. I was set on going to New York and I wouldn't do anything else. Like I applied to one other school basically just to, um, just to humor them. And <laughs> yeah, and I got into both of course, but I was like, Pratt. Eh, I got into Pratt, so that's where I'm going. <laughs> uh, 
uh, yeah, I was a very stubborn child, and I'm still very stubborn, but I'm, I'm a wise, stubborn person now. <laughs> At least I like to think so. Anyway, thank you for listening, and if you want to continue following my... So hey guys, I know that was kind of all over the place, and I think I touched on a lot of things, but if you have any questions for me about like what I'm doing right now after leaving school, or if you have questions about Pratt, because I did go there for a little while and I know a lot of people that went there for the full four years or even longer, um, to feel free to comment that down below. Um, yeah, I'd love to hear from you, so thanks, and subscribe if you haven't already, and you can follow me on Instagram at Andrea Charlene. Toodaloo!